for me it was it wasn't necessarily a lot of people notice other people noticing um, I could easily cover it with like just baggy clothing and stuff but obviously that doesn't make you feel good and when you go to the shops and you see a pair of denim shorts that you really like you don't want to go back over to the long baggy pants because of the fact that the shorts won't look good um, yeah I think that would be the most obvious also uh, my skin got really bad um, I'm, I would say I'm cellulite prone so the cellulite was very obvious so it wasn't just necessarily size but actual deterioration of the skin and it just looked it looked really bad shorts like I might have only been a few kilos heavier but I looked a f much much more than that just also because my tone was completely lost what is a problem is time managing time because you need to make time every day to exercise you need to make time to cook healthy food you can't just go to KFC and buy a healthy meal yeah like okay so they got salads but then also there's dressings and so forth with that it's a lot easier to cook healthy food from home and a lot more affordable but it takes a lot more time and you have to accept and understand that you have to set that time aside to be able to maintain this kind of lifestyle a healthy lifestyle and I mean sometimes a cheat meal is like a chef salad from Roman's Pizza which you think isn't that bad until you check the calories and see that if you eat the whole thing it's over 700 I didn't know this check the calories I was quite upset with myself um, yeah that, so I mean sometimes it just depends on what I'm in the mood for generally I like things that are creamy and um, with chocolates I love chocolates um, so creamy and chocolate so like the frappes from McDonald's or um, a a pudding like a really really decent but it's going like top quality like, like a mug and bean cake sauce like that's my ultimate like, but yeah and pizza burgers chips like basically everything on the naughty list is almost probably a cheat for me <laughs> but top favorites I would say pudding generally yeah set weekly goals so that you can stay on top of it because it's so easy to fall off track and if you have if you commit yourself on a daily, a weekly and a monthly basis to something and not just an overall I need to lose so much weight, you might find that you'll stay on track more even if you fall off track for a day or two or a weekend or a week. Next week you say okay well I didn't reach those goals last week but if this is a new week, it's a new day, I can still make a difference now and move forward instead of focusing too much on the negative and like basically when you don't stick to what you said you would, you, you say to yourself you're going to stick to this and that and that for this period of time, you don't stick to it and now because you didn't do it for a day or a week all of a sudden now it's as though you, for the rest of your life you're screwed, you're not you just got to pick yourself up and carry on, that's the most important thing I would say biggest tip of all is to just keep pushing forward, even if you take two steps back you can still take 50 steps forward and see the results you want